Hey guys, it's Steve here from Better Gamer Zone. Just bringing you a quick video guide for Hitman Absolution, showing you how to unlock the Swordplay Part 1, 2, and 3 challenges on Mission 5 Hunter and Hunted. Uh, you get Swordplay Part 1 by killing one of Wade's guys with a katana, Swordplay Part 2 for killing all three of them with a katana, and then Swordplay Part 3 by killing all three of them with a katana while dressed as Charlie Chipmunk. So I'll guide you through how to complete the third part of the challenge as you'll be able to use that to unlock all parts of it. Um, so as you can see we're just headed to the end of the map, turned right and hid by the sushi vendor, waited until one of Wade's guys came along and took the store vendor away, picked up the katana, now we're just going to head round to the left here we need to wait for another one of Wade's guys to turn up and head down the stairs and when he does the police officer will move away to the back of the screen and we just need to move in into the left and you can pick up the uh, Charlie Chipmunk disguise from inside here the disguise is visible to all store vendors and police officers which makes this a little bit more challenging but uh, once you're disguised just head straight out and forward down to the right and jump into the trash can and hide. We're just going to wait for one of Wade's men to turn up. He'll come down the stairs. And once he moves past you on the right we're just going to pop out and uh, make sure to equip the katana and then just do a silent kill from behind drag his body and dump it in the dumpster and just head straight back up the stairs then uh, manoeuvre around the police officers to the right uh, as there are a couple that patrol so just wait for them to move move past you once the uh, police officers have moved past you just head round to the left and just stick in inside the crowd as much as you can and uh, you want to move up against cover here as, as there is a police officer that uh, that is looking our way so duck down behind this cover and then just use instinct if you need to and just duck and move across and then crouch up behind this next piece of cover then head over towards the gap in the wall all we need to do now is wait for the store clerk to come in and start smoking When he's uh, finished his cigarette, he'll turn away from us. And then we're just going to climb through the hole in the wall. And just uh, stay crouched and head through. And what you want to do is just um, wait for this guy to walk forward a little bit in a moment when he answers his phone just to make sure that nobody sees you across to the right. Wait. Yeah, the locals aren't talking. Once yeah, he moves forward for and just attack him from behind. Just wait for the store clerk to finish his cigarette again. and then head out through the gap in the wall and use cover as much as you can and just head out and then we're just going to head round to the right use instinct if you do see yourself being noticed by any uh, by any officers 
and just turn your back to them as much as possible and just carry on straight forwards then around to the right and what you're going to need to do is just head up the stairs to the left here just to start off the conversation with one of Wade's guys and a store clerk wait for him to finish the conversation just head back down and duck behind this truck and just wait for him to arrive once he's uh, stood taking a leak against a truck just head up behind him and silent attack him from behind and then just head up the stairs and uh, that should unlock so we'll play part three. I hope the video helps. Please leave any comments below and subscribe to my channel for future achievement videos. Thanks.